Giverny, 1913. Claude Monet, the father of Impressionism, filmed by his friend Sacha Guitry. At the time Guitry shot this footage of the artist, Monet had been living in Normandy for 30 years. He had finally gained recognition after years of scorn and was now exclusively painting the water lilies. He had been at the origin of the revolt he organized. He was also its last survivor. I've always hated theories. My only merit is to have painted directly from nature, trying to depict the impressions made on me by the most ephemeral effects. I'm sorry to have been the source of a name given to a group of which a large majority was not related to Impressionism. But it all started 50 years earlier. Scandal. A painting has shocked the public. It depicts a naked woman between two fully clothed men. The year is 1863. The city, Paris. The object of outrage was being exhibited at the Palais de l'Industrie, a vast iron and glass building that housed the annual official painting salon. Manet's painting should never have been exhibited there, as it was one of 4,000 works refused that year by the jury. But in order to placate irate artists and keen to preserve his popularity, Emperor Napoleon III ordered the creation of a Salon des Refusés, or Exhibition of Rejects. At the time, nudes were only acceptable in historical or allegorical paintings, and Monsieur Manet was fully aware of that fact. His Déjeuner sur l'herbe, or Luncheon on the Grass, flouted all moral and artistic conventions. The Academy, custodian of an ideal of beauty and good aesthetic taste, laid down incontrovertible rules to imitate the ancient masters, to produce carefully finished images, and above all, to favour studio painting over outdoor painting. <laughs> 